Hello people, today's part 2 of my series on unlocking vector CPU and today we're going to be connecting our new CPU unlocked vector to WirePod. Here's my WirePod instance on my laptop and here's my CPU unlocked vector. Now you'll notice that this specific vector is running a custom firmware called Vickyware and that's why it says Cosmo instead of vector. But yeah, process should be still the same. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to our browser and we're going to search uh, Project Victor. Uh, all the links will be in the description, by the way, but this is the link, projectvictor.org slash noflow dev setup dot slash html slash main dot html. Here we're going to go here. Now we're going to uh, double press the button on our vector. There we go. That should give us the code. Now we're going to pair with vector. Now there is our vector. Though it does say vector here and Cosmo there, which is pretty confusing. But pair. Hopefully it should connect up perfectly fine. Yep. Here we have a pin on our vector that we can enter into our setup browser thing. 818903. 8, no. 8, 1, Make sure you have enable auto setup flow unchecked. Wow, that focus is horrible. Uh, okay, yeah. And then we enter pin. And that should, our vector should show this icon now. And we should be in the terminal. So first thing we're going to do is, uh, Wi-Fi is execute a command called Wi-Fi dash connect. Then we're going to put in our SSID and our password and once you do that press enter i'm not going to show this part because i don't want to leak my ssid and password i'll be right back there once you've done that it should say wi-fi connection wi-fi state online results success and you should be connected to wi-fi you may also notice that the backpack lights on vector will stop blinking orange that means he's connected to wi-fi and whenever they blink orange that means he's not connected to wi-fi Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get his SSH key, which is, which is required for WirePod. We're going to type logs, press enter, and then it's going to download logs. Okay, when it's done, it should say logs, downloading logs, successfully downloading the logs. And it should have downloaded a file called vector logs and then your vector. So what you're going to do now is you're going to go into file explorer. There. You're going to go to downloads. You're going to click on this, uh, the logs downloaded, and you're going to extract all, and then extract there, it should open, now you're going to go to data, SSH, and IDRSA, yeah, the, the one, it says Microsoft Publisher because it's a .pub file, but that's the one you want. Let me just change the, oh, they changed everything in File Explorer, why? Why do they have to do this file name? Yeah, you want the .pub one. So what you do now is you go back into Wirepod. You're done with this now. Go back into Wirepod. And you go into bot setup. Now you want to configure an OSKR dev unlocked bot. Because this is now an OSKR dev unlocked bot. So we get the bot's IP address first. T to do that, we're going to have to go to the bot. Double click his top backpack button. Then raises lift up and rate lower it back down. And then we have the IP address. So it's one nine no, I'm not typing. Great. One nine two dot Oh, I already have it. Awesome. I guess I've done this before. Yeah, it's this one here. That's done. So we have our bot's IP address. We can now exit the menu by raising and lowering our lift up and down again. And now we need to choose our SSH key file. So uh, we do that by clicking choose file. Then we navigate to our downloads. And we go to vector logs, data, SSH, and the .pub file. And now we can start set up the setup process by clicking setup bot.
Okay, so quick correction. I did a mistake here. It says not running last SSH, not no key found. Stop parsing private key. We don't want the public key. We want the private key. So the one without the pub file. So if we go back into file explorer, we need to select this one, which is the one that's not dot pub, but the one that is just a white icon. That's just a file, no extension. Then we can click set up bot. And hopefully this time it'll work. Just reload the page. Sometimes you need to reload the page for it too. And Wirepod crashed. Awesome. Let me just start up Wirepod again. Awesome. Perfect. Bot set up. Now we go back to IP address. One with the 93. Choose file. The non-public one. And then set up bot. Okay, good, it's working now. Screen will go blank. Yep, there we go. Transferring files, generating new robot certificate. Sometimes this can take a few minutes. But it should, should hopefully work. Yeah, it's taking its time. Sorry, I'm recording this with a phone, but at least the camera is better now. Yep. He's doing stuff. You can hear my other vector in the background there. Awesome. It says file transfer complete. Use the above section to complete bot setup. So now what we do is we click on this little link here. wpsetup.carrygank.com and then what we need to do is just go through the setup process with normal Wirepod and it will just automatically set up the bot, which should be perfect. We wait for Vector to finish booting. There we go. Now we double press his, um, the his backpack button. Yep. Then we click pair with Vector. Select our Vector, which is R5M2. We click pair. Okay, we have the pin. This time we want to keep enable auto setup flow checked because we're not using the terminal. Okay, so we want 815633. 815633. Vector, what are you doing? Enter pin. Yeah, it will say a non EP firmware has been detected and you're not in recovery mode. You'll need to be in recovery mode for the flashing of EP firmware to work. Please place your vector in recovery mode and pair and try again. We're going to just ignore that and click OK. And then we're just going to click activate. And hopefully, yep, that worked. We can now select a time zone to be, well, I'm in Europe, Paris. I'm actually in the Netherlands, but that's the correct time zone. Celsius and metric and then I can save settings and yep he's done now he should work straight away if I just say hey Cosmo what's the weather nope he did not recognize that okay but at least he recognizes the wake word yeah his wake word is Cosmo because he's running Vickyware which is kind of Victorware but also mixed with Cosmoware yeah, it's interesting. It's a very cool uh, custom firmware, though. I'd recommend joining their Discord. Hey, Cosmo. What's the weather? Hey, Cosmo. What's the weather? Yeah, it works. He doesn't have a text-to-speech voice yet because the custom firmware isn't finished yet. But, yeah, everything seems to be working. He's set up with Wirepod, and we're good. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Thank you.